What's up, Cubers? Cube Voices. No, sh Hey guys, it's Cube Voices, and today on World Class Path, we are going to be reconstructing Aaron Wynn's 3.46 official Cooper Free Single, which he set just a few days ago at a recent competition in the Kansas City area. This solve is ranked first in Kansas, first in the Heartland region of the US, third in the US and North America, and fifth in the world. It would have also been fourth in the world if it weren't for Yi Hang Wang's Asian record single, which was second in the world, which happened to be set that same day, about an hour later. Bruh. I have the video of the solve pulled up right now, and if you haven't already, please go check my reaction to that solve by clicking the card in the top right corner. So anyways, we're gonna get straight into the reconstruction. The scramble is right there. I'll put it on screen right now. So the first thing that Aaron does is that he rotates to have of yellow on top and red on front. So the first thing he does is he solves the back cross edge by doing a B2, and then he does a U prime, then R prime, and then a D, then a U2. That makes a double X cross, so that across this F2L pair is already solved, and this F2L pair is also already solved. So it makes a double X cross. And then Aaron just has to insert the last cross edge by doing R prime F R. So now Aaron only has two F two L pairs left. So he rotates to do the green orange pair, which he does like this: R U two R prime U, and then inserts it with a sledge. And now he rotates again, and he sees this pair, which is just a free move insert. And now he has this easy OLL case. Now I don't know the, exactly how he did it, but essentially it would be this case. You all know this case. Now I'm gonna do that again to make sure I get it from the same way that Aaron does in his solve. So yeah, this is the point where he actually gets it. And he does U, R prime, U prime. And from here, you can actually already tell that this case is going to skip because if we just do an R, You'll see this goes, everyone can tell that this is a skip case. I don't know the proper words to describe this, how a laser monkey would do it, but essentially from right here, he just does an R2 and goes into the rest of the ALG and just has a UAUF. Now that solution was 28 moves and according to the description, it was exactly eight turns per second. Now, what exactly can we learn from the solve? Well, doing it again, now the way I did it was a little different. Instead, I insert, now the way I would have done it is a little different. I would have inserted this pair on the left and that would have given me a U2 pre-AUF and then a U prime AUF. Whereas Aaron only had an AUF and no pre-UF. Now I'm gonna go through it one more time by just doing what I would have normally done. Now, what I would have done is a little different. I would have, after the sledge, Aaron rotates so that he can insert it with our moves, but I, and I'm guessing a lot of our people would have, eh, huh, would do what I did and insert it with an L move. Now, you can still get the same, uh, now I did a lefty version of that same one look last layer, but I'm guessing that for most people, all moves are not faster, as they are for me. And that is actually a very clever thing that Aaron was doing. He changed the way that he inserted the final pair so that he could still use his dominant hand for the rest of the solve. So, what can we learn from this solve? Well, I feel like the first thing is, sometimes you need to pay attention to which way you rotate. That fourth pair is a great example of this. Because if you were to do what Aaron had done and use rotation so that you can insert the pair with our moves, it clearly would have given you a better time. Whereas if you had done what I did and inserted the pair with L moves, it would have resulted in a slightly worse time. Even if you knew how to do that one look last layer from the left or with using L moves, it probably would not have been as fast as if you had done the righty version. And for the us, people are going to say, why didn't you do something about Yi Hang's Asian record? It's because I wanted to focus on stuff that is relevant in my area. I lived very close to where this competition took place and I wanted to cover it instead. 
By the way, guys, I am going to be going to Missouri Championships in uh, next week. So if you see me there, come up and say hi. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Keep on Cuban and goodbye.